start. Where, uh, where were you at this morning? Uh, we're here at Tucker's. I was here at Tucker's. Uh, Tucker's actually has uh, yoga classes on Sundays at 11 o'clock. I definitely didn't go to the wrong place. Where was it at? Saint Sunset Station. Yeah. It was at Sunset Station. Definitely didn't come here instead. Yeah, you did. Idiot. You, I mean, you Definitely told me here that you were here all dressed up idiot. in yoga here. pants. What are you? And An idiot sandwich. I told you not to wear only yoga pants. I told you, make sure you wear shorts because nobody wants to know about all that. It's hot. It's Texas. Okay, yeah. Um, don't 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 skip back the fact. Skip I mean, part the they, fact that you wanted to wear yoga pants only. Have you ever worn football pants or anything like that? I mean, they feel they feel amazing. Yeah. What's up? This is my buddy Tim. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Tim? So, what is there even on the menu? What is there to eat? Like, what? what Last time I came here, they had like chicken and waffles. It was like a spicy syrup. Those were good. Um, they had the deviled eggs. I don't really do that, but they brought them. The other people at the table liked it. It was real good. They you don't like deviled eggs? No, nah, bro. No. What don't you like about deviled eggs? The taste is they're they're deviled. deviled and they're delicious. I don't like the taste, and I don't like when people are always saying, <laughs> I ate deviled eggs. Fart later. I don't want. Smell that shit. Yeah, the farts are not, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. We also had some biscuits and gravy that it was like, I think it was like biscuits and gravy, but it was like a brown gravy. I could be wrong, right? That was, they were just, they're bringing us plates. So, great hospitality here. Yeah. I fucking love being at Tucker's. Maybe it wasn't biscuits and gravy, maybe it was just a biscuit with gravy. I think it was their take. Yeah. I think it was their, like, it was, you know, yeah. they did good shit here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See what it is. I'm gonna get the Tucker Sagria Red. That's what I got last time. And we got a craft. Carafe. Is that right? Carafe, yeah. From Brazil Mimosas Company. Yeah. And then I think we're gonna start with the, the chicken and waffle skewers for, for, for sure. For sure. We're gonna start with those for sure. Bump, what? Tell me what it is. What is it? The bomba? Yeah. The bomba? The bomba. You got some hot sauce and some lime juice and some salt. It forces you to chug it because it has the salt. Come on. Come on. Cowboy Sunday. We're doing a little hunting later. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I said the. It's almost like an instant make it like He said to water. chug a little bit of the beer, not the whole beer, bro. I mean, it just tastes so good. <laughs> Once it hits the lips. Yeah. Once it hits the lips. Chill, Frank the Tank. Chill, Frank the Tank. Chill, Frank the Tank. Chill. Brunch, bro. There's people wearing vests outside, bro. I'm wearing a cutoff shirt and they're wearing vests and they're all dapper, bro. They're dapper and they're wearing riding motorcycles. I don't got a motorcycle. But hey, we got a plan. We got a plan. We got a plan for, for next round. Yes, man. Ready? Pinky up, pinky up. <laughs> I 
I almost held it, bro. You ruined it. You ruined it. Take, take two. <laughs> Chicken waffles. The time was in like a dough last time. Last time I got the cayenne. The time it was perfect. Listo. I'm in charge now. I'm in charge now. You want to go get a camera to me? There it is. What do you think, dog? I don't. That's not how I play. I'll just go. I don't need a pick. Use my, my hair. Yeah. Savage. Sunday. Fun day. Savage. I like maybe a little bit sweeter, a little saltier. What? Chicken and waffles. It's hard to chicken waffles. So uh, one out of uh, one of the twelve tamales, Chef AJ, because there's other there's other uh, there's other chicken and waffle spots here in San Antonio. So um, one out of twelve tamales. Maybe maybe six. Six on the one out of twelve. All right, hey, he's got a got a bar. Bar. I'm shooting with a nice seven. You look like a giant. What, uh, what's uh, the movie? It's gonna fall, bro. It's gonna fall. What's the Braveheart line? They can, they can take all sorts of shit, but they can never take our freedom. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You got me fucked up at the end. You can never take our freedom. Oh my. You can nuts. never take all chicken and waffles. Not today. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna need clean up in aisle three. My brother, can I get some napkins? Look how smooth, look how smooth it is. I need to. Mm. Grab, grab one here. Is it like uh, the, is it cool pork on there or something? Y'all know me, I don't really care about getting this. <laughs> Bro, it's hot, bro. Hold on, now. What? I'm gonna back off. What? You go first, then. Okay. You think, you need, yeah, yeah. You think right. it's so easy? I'll go first. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're hot, bro. I feel the heat radiating. <laughs> from me or from the? <laughs> <laughs> from the balls. My plums. <laughs> Deep down in my in my plum. Bro, it's hot, dude. I know. I like the, uh, the smokiness. Or is it brisket in there? What's the name? Barbecue? I don't remember what is it It's barbecue. Oh, it is. There's, oh, it's pool port. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's pool port. Yeah. As I told you, it was. <laughs> I backed off, bro. I backed off. I had to. I put that little sucker right there. Right towards my mouth. I put that ball towards my mouth, and I just said, nope. This ball's not for me right now. Maybe in a little bit. 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 Good. I'm gonna give that 7.5. Yes. Okay. 7.5 okay. 12 tomorrow. I'm not ready yet. I like the level. Okay, okay. Good smoke, man. <laughs> you like that? Again, are you sure? Are you, you, already, you, you already put 7.5, but, but you can. That's one of those things that's like. Because it's still I hitting don't know you. Why, I just want more salt. I'm always wanting more salt. Well, so, you probably. But it's not. I salt. mean, you better it's talk to your salt. doctor about that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to. Uh, I just don't tell my doctor. So you're sticking with the score. Yeah. But it, and it's that good. It's macaroni. It's macaroni and cheese. It's fried macaroni and cheese with pulled exactly. pork. Macaroni and cheese should already be. Like, okay, so cat. then. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hi, boy. No. No, no. Oh right. my goodness. That's me right there. 
just kind of throw it right there. There we go. Thank you. Roll the football. Boom. What'd you give it? Uh, 7.5 out of eight, uh, 12. Nine. Nine. Nine, See, there you go. That's what I'm saying. It's just the, the, Just that's what I'm saying. The saltiness. Nine, I just one. I always think salty. Nine one. Okay. Sorry, bro. Oh, more. Oh. Uh -huh. So when I go, when I saw the when I saw the barbecue sauce. On the menu? Right. I was like, no, I don't want like... Cause for concern? Yeah. Like, sometimes. But... Yeah, I've had that grown in bar before at a... Right. Mm -hmm. so, like, it goes really good with it. You did good, bro. And the, the pulled pork in there was... Have you ever had like barbecue and, you know, somebody is awesome enough to make macaroni and cheese at like and bring it to the barbecue. Oh, I always and, request macaroni and cheese. Yeah, you. Even for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Right. Mac and cheese anytime. It's good. It was good. Macaroni and cheese, bro. No, it's a classic. Holy but a goodie. Comfort food. Yeah. So. No, you're good. I think you're good. You gotta maybe have a little crumb. A little crumb in your. Beer. There you go. You got it. You got it. But it's good. The sweetness, the savoriness. You know, it goes good. It it reminds me of yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of, of those stuffed barbecue plates that sometimes, you know, the, the macaroni and cheese, you know, gets a little too close to the to the barbecue uh, brisket, you know, and they kind of inter, intermingle. Fire, bro. They're so good. I'm going in, bro. Go for it. That's a, the biggest ball I've ever seen you put in your mouth. I've seen you put some big balls in your mouth. Meatballs, macaroni balls, you know? There you go. What kind of subs that we have in silverware, but we understand what's going on right now. The silverware doesn't do the, the class justice over here at Cutters. I mean, you want class, look at this guy. And class, class, class. <laughs> I saw little chunks of bacon in there. Look good. Yeah, there's bacon right there. Meat on meat on. Bacon and the sauce are good. Legit good. gravy. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made this. They didn't. Yeah, the lazy way to make biscuits and gravy is without the sausage. Um, and that's legit. Looks pretty legit. Does it look, does it taste as good as it looks? It's pork. There's a salt in the Look at that, look at that. Ooh, the bacon. Mm -hmm. It's not even more like too salty. It's like, I like it. Yeah, I like yeah, me too. I mean my doctor knows it too. Really? Alright, Chef Beijing. Because it's salty. Biggie's Biggie's gonna have to agree. I'm gonna have to raise you one. 10.1. Yeah, just like uh just like uh what's the uh it uh in the, during the day, it's probably one of the better. Price is right, ten point one. Probably one of the better biscuits and gravies I've ever had. Bro, look at it. That's how good it is. It's all homemade, bro. Yeah. It's not nothing from a box. They're doing it right, Tucker. You still got that monster right now. Look at that. There you go. Bacon, jam, and egg homemade biscuit with cheese sauce. It was the same biscuit we had there. Yeah. The homemade biscuit, but it has cheese. Give me that. You got dirty just like me. Come on, Chef AJ. Hmm. This is a reign supreme. Y'all come to Tucker's, get the macaroni balls for sure, and get the biscuits and gravy. And get some, get a carafe, a carafe mimosa. 
All right. All right, we're here with Julio Cepeda here at Tucker's Cozy Corner. Uh, we just want to ask you a little bit how it's been since y'all. That beautiful sign. I love the backdrop <laughs> here in downtown San Antonio. Um, how's it been since y'all reopened? Uh, you know, how's everything going? How, how's y'all's customer flow going? Just tell us a little bit about that. Good. So, um, actually, since we've opened back up, we've actually had a spike um, and, uh, in the customers. We had a lot of people that didn't know we were open. So, it kind of it kind of helped us out in a sense. We are uh, practicing so social distancing. Yeah, right when we came in, they got our they got our temperature. We had to wave. Everybody, everything, it's, it's, it's still safe here. I really like it here, the atmosphere here. <laughs> And uh, it, it's it, it's uh, it's part of the guidelines, so we're trying to do our best that way everybody can feel safe. I think that's one of the most important things right now: is feeling safe and comfortable. Plus the exceptional service that we try to provide for everybody. Every time I come to Tucker, it's great. <laughs> uh, well, what else y'all got going on right now? Y'all got anything special going on? Yes. Yeah, so today and every Sunday from now on, we're doing Sunday brunch from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, after that, we are closed for the, the meantime, but. Every Sunday, we are open from 12 to 4, and we have a phenomenal drink and food uh, oh, menu. Man. We just ate, and it was amazing. The biscuits and gravy, Chef AJ right here gave it a 10. I gave it a, so a 10.1. I outdid them. Everything with the macaroni balls with the with the, the pulled pork inside, ah, it was money. Everything was so, cheese, so uh. bro, it was so good. You can't go wrong, like my boy said right here. Uh, but other than that, just... Uh, well, yeah, you gave us our hours of operation with everything else. We appreciate yeah. y'all. We give a wish I love. We thank you for the hospitality and uh, y'all be good, man. Y'all be, be safe. And uh, during the week, we are open from 5 p.m. till 12. And then uh, on the weekends, which is Friday and Saturday, we are opening. Uh, we're le leaving it open till 1 a.m. in the morning. So, oh, awesome. uh, yeah, just so you know, a little bit of hours. Yeah. And always feel uh, welcome or more than welcome to ask me any questions or come to me, email me, email us, and uh, we'll have any answer for you guys. My email is uh, Julio Cepeda25 at gmail.com. And uh, if not, you can always message us on Tucker's Cozy Corner or Tucker's SA Bar on our Instagram. And follow us, and we have all our updates on there. Fantastic so far. Let's see if he can nail the dismount. Oh, look at that transfer. Beautiful. So graceful. Here we go, the dismount. Let's see. And he nails it! Beautiful! Not good enough for a gold medal for the United States!